Hi friends, this is my Lumi Home Pro processor powered by the Home Assistant. Uh, today we are going to do the remote access settings through a VPN without using the Nabuk as a paid subscription uh, by using the zero tier add-on. So go to the website, zero tier website and uh, create an account and sign into the account. Go inside and create a network. Yeah, so the network got created. Make a note of this uh, network ID. So we'll be using this later on. And the name, it has given its own name. So you can uh, uh, delete that and give some name that makes sense to you. Yes, so we go down and we are going to see that there's going to be a lot of settings over here but I'm not going to do any changes to these settings. Uh, we'll leave it as it is. We'll go back to our processor and we will add this um, network ID to the processor. Go into the settings, add-ons, search for the uh, zero tier add-on from the add-on store yes let's install this yeah in the configuration page we paste the network id that we got from the previous step and we save it uh, if you had some trouble with the setup then you can turn on the uh, logging option to find more details but otherwise this is not required. Go back to the add-on page and we start the add-on. So once we start the add-on, this processor gets added to our zero tier network. We will see whether this has happened. I'll just do a refresh of the page. Yeah, and now we go down to check if the processor got, got added. Yes, one device has joined this network, but we require at least two devices to form the network. Right, so go down and check the device. Yes, it's added, but it's still not authorized. Tick it to authorize. So once it's done, the IP gets uh, filled up after authorization. Yeah, and yeah, this is the IP that we will require later on. Make a note of it and change the name. I'm giving a name as automation processor. Right. So we are going to proceed to our phone where we will add the phone also to this network. Open the zero to your um, app and add the network ID yes and connect it access denied right so we still have to authorize this device also yes so we have one phone and one processor in the VPN we go into the app so I'm going to do the settings for the remote access go into settings companion app choose the processor and uh, switch off the home assistant cloud put in the IP address that you got from the zero tier and uh, we also have to add the home network so that while you're on the home network that is within your local network you don't have to use uh, go through the zero tier VPN All right so once this is done choose all the networks that apply for your home and the URL will be your local URL thank you